Hey, Brian Rose, uh, Laundry Real Army. I really appreciate uh, what uh, actions you're taking as kind of the head of the Laundry Real Army to try and preserve free speech and the ability for us to triage and uh, uh, understand what's going on as an individual as opposed to being told from the top down uh, what we should think. And I think really what the world needs right now is more bottom-up power. We should empower the average citizen. We should have plebiscites. We should have bottom-up decision-making. And I think on area after area, uh, that would improve our governance. So if we had bottom-up decision-making, I think that would improve inequality. It would make the society more equal. I think it would improve the environment. I think it would get a hold of some of this toxic mentality that we need growth. We need more and more money. I think we can replace that with a, a kind of a homegrown, homestead, old-fashioned attitude where you have your family, you have your business, and you have stasis obviously with the improving technology, but the economic increase, the population increase, the immigration increase could come to a stop and we could have a, a planet that is not going through environmental collapse, is actually in stasis and uh, thus we can preserve uh, the future of our planet, which is, uh, you know, in rough shape at the moment, but at the same time, continuing the progress that people like Elon Musk, people like Bill Gates, people like uh, Ray Kurzweil and Peter Diamandis, these people, Aubrey de Grey, these people who are trying to push the frontiers of science and technology, because ultimately, this planet is not the solution. Uh, we have to go out into the stars. We have to spread out. We have to light up the universe with intelligence. And I think the London Real Army is a real part of this kind of bottom-up thinking. That And David, I talked about how they had an open internet, so everyone adopted it, and then they're t turning it into a top-down internet. Now is the moment. Uh, when everyone realizes this is happening, to push for bottom-up decision-making and to try and uh, wrestle power from this um, uh, kind of headless monster uh, of a, a group of families that are um, perhaps a group of families. I'm not sure about that, but all these people who are running hedge funds, who are just looking for a buck, and they're not incentivized to care about other things. I think now is the time to uh, uh, have this kind of bottom-up decision-making. Or perhaps, you know, perhaps it, it won't be possible for humans to, um, to seize these moments, and we'll need some greater intelligence than ourselves, which means we will have to rely on some kind of artificial intelligence in the future that is better than us at um, this Darwinian thinking of survival and uh, allowing us to carry on as a, as a species and group. And that's sooner than most people realize. Um, but... Um, that's the techno optimism of me coming out. But I think what we're trying to do now as the London real army is we're trying to fix things uh, at this moment in time to cr try and create the best future we can today. And uh, those criteria will shift in the future as they always shift. But uh, it is incumbent on us to try our best today as humans before us have tried their best in their day to create the best future. And I think part of that is growing this online movement 
And part of it is uh, running people for political office who are unafraid to question things like you, you, Brian Rose, do such a good job of questioning things and Joe Rogan and some of these other podcasters who have gotten big by being curious, being open-minded and, uh, and being discerning in selecting uh, what knowledge they choose to believe from the panoply of possible things you could believe. And through this process, we have had an unprecedented gain in knowledge and understanding, thanks to the internet. And today, people are uh, better educated, especially the younger people, are better educated than any group of people has ever been educated before. And if education is the answer, then uh, today we should be doing very well. But it's not just education. I think it's education and courage and finding that group of like-minded people where you can play off each other's energy and you can draw other people in. And I think this is where... um, uh, kind of uh, leaders like yourself, like Alex Jones, like Joe Rogan, need to join up together and create a a movement of people who, who are going to stick up for the smaller people who are the supporters of you guys, your audience. You have to stick up for your audience in the face of uh, the desire to just turn us into mindless consumers who uh, create profit for these corporations. Uh, We are a people. We are a group. We are a a society. And as a society, we care about more than profits. We care about our health, our mental health, our physical health. We care about our families. And we care about our future. And I think these things are what you have brought into focus, uh, help to bring into focus with more clarity uh, than at any other time in history. So thank you very much. uh, And uh, keep doing what you're doing because I think it's, it's making a difference and, uh, and you're breaking through the, uh, kind of the structures of control that try and keep us down and you're getting your message out. So keep broadcasting, keep getting your message out and uh, you'll always have an audience uh, in me and in so many other people who watch and enjoy your show. Thank you.